So now we've got a basic depth set up, let's uh, have a quick look at Cryptomat and how we can use it to color correct our trees. Um, so, assuming you have the Reactor plugin, you should be able to get the Cryptomat node. So let's create one now and just feed this into your EXR. And let's take a look. So, what you have here is a little controller. It might be easier if we go back to viewing the LS view our, our beauty. Now, if we take this and place it over a tree, and then over in our Cryptomat controls here, if we click Add, and view our Cryptomat node, you can see we've got all the trees selected now. So, now we just need to create a bitmap node. And let's undo that. All right. Do we need to reselect? Yep, we'll need to reselect. Great. Let's remove and reselect our trees. Add trees. There you go. So let's try again. Let's create a bitmap node. Okay, good. So you don't want it interfering with your node graph like that. So let's feed that into our bitmap. And now, because it's set to alpha, we've got the alpha that's created from our cryptomat. So we have a way to mask our trees. So let's go ahead and let's mask our trees. Let's color correct them before our atmosphere effect. So let's throw down another color corrector. And actually, in the interest of keeping our node graph nice and clean, you could um, rename your nodes. So for example, this one, it could be uh, tree tree cc just so we know what that one's doing for example um, and then again just use the bitmap to mask the trees and maybe they're a little bit too dark um i think it, well in, in my case for example these trees i know that um, the shading was set up at the wrong scale you know with the subsurface so in this case it'd be good to just lower the contrast and increase the gain just a tiny bit so they're not quite so dark and that's just helped them sit a little bit better so now let's go back to our um, atmosphere and now they, they're kind of they're not sticking up so much so that's quite cool so the the cryptomat is really useful for um let's say we had a whole different variety a group of variety of trees you know because there's one type of tree so we're going to have to select one but you could select many or we could select the mountain, you know, this is a really good way to be able to select things and then color correct them in your comp. So um, with that in mind, let's proceed to the next lesson where we'll continue to work on our comp and we'll um, color correct it and we'll add a few more lens effects and that sort of thing. So see you in the next lesson.